forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you.
Good afternoon, church. Praise the Lord. I greet you all once again in Jesus' name. I'm just going to go quick, swiftly to the Word of God. Let's go to Habakkuk 2 4. Habakkuk 2 4. Yeah, the children, please, you can. Now proceed to your class, children church. Have I got too far? He said, Behold, the proud, his soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. The just shall live by his faith. I want to talk to you a little bit on the topic of faith this afternoon. Faith in uncertain times. Faith in uncertain times. I truly believe that we are in uncertain times. We don't know what will happen the next hour. Or within this hour, we are living in uncertain time. And the role that faith plays in our life is to keep us grounded in the hope that our Heavenly Father will fulfill all His plans and promises for our life. Faith, it keeps us grounded. Last week I talked to you about the enemies of the promises of God. Is doubt, unbelief, Right? Doubt, unbelief, and reason. Those things come to remove our faith and replace them. We also talk about three things that we need to receive the blessings of God. We talk about faith. Faith is believing God. Faith is believing the unreasonable. Then we talk about also hope. In order to receive from God, we need faith to believe what God has spoken. We also need hope. Hope is optimistic expectation. Optimistic is not enough for hope. Because when you are optimistic, that means anything can happen. You just hope, you know. But you must also have expectation. So hope is optimistic expectation because you know God is going to do what he has promised. Hallelujah. In the time that we are in, we need faith. Amen. We need faith. So faith... Keep us grounded in the hope that our Father will fulfill His plan and promises. Faith is also trusting the unseen, but not the unknown. No, you did not hear me. Faith is trusting the unseen. So that means we transact faith in the unseen, not in the seen. So faith is trusting the unseen, but not the unknown. I know that I know that I know that I know I'm still knowing that that house belongs to me. I can't see it, but I know it. I have the assurance. I have the proof. I have the legal right. I have 
the title deed. The legal ownership of that property is me. It's my property. I can't see it, but I believe it. Hallelujah. In the dispensation that we are in, the uncertain times, we need faith as never before. Another thing we need to watch out for is fear. Because fear paralyzes your faith. Fear is an enemy of faith. But faith, hallelujah, faith in God. Can I hear amen to that? Jesus told the disciples after he caused the tree and the tree dried up the same moment. They came back the next day. I said, whoa. And they asked him, wow. You caused and he dried up. I know what Jesus told them. Jesus said, have faith in, have faith in, have faith in. Jesus didn't say have faith in faith. Faith must have an object. Faith must have a what? An object. And it is very important for you, if you want to move in faith, to have good relationship with the object of your faith. To truly know your faith. To know your object. That's what the Bible says. Those that know the Lord. They be what? So the object of your faith. You have to know the ability. Of the object of your faith. The reason why people don't have faith. They don't know their God. If you know their God, and you know the strength of your God, you know that it's more than the able. They that know their God shall be what? Shall be strong. It means you will be unmovable. Whatever God said, you stand on the word of God. You will trust the word of God because you know your God. That's why we are still standing. Shereke poka paye. Ah, we thank you. That's what Psalm 20 says. Some trust in. That was the, that's the object. And some trust in. But we. Come on, tell your neighbor. Say hi. Say hi. Trust in the Lord. I trust in Yahweh. I trust in Jehovah. He cannot fail. He will deliver. He has all the resources. He's omnipresent. He's omnipotent. He has all the power. He will deliver. What he said he would do, he will do it. He's unstoppable. He's unshakable. He's going to do it. Just stand strong in hope. Stand strong in what? In hope. Because faith Granted us in hope and belief what God said He would do, that He will do it. Amen. What does it mean to have faith in God? It means to place our confidence in Him and in Him alone. It means faithfulness to who He is. I mean, God is faithful. Hebrews 11 says, tell us, they that come to him know that he is. And he is the one that diligently reward those that seek him. Can I hear amen to that? Let's go to Hebrews 11. One, three. We're going a little bit deeper today. It's okay? I will do it swiftly. I am hot. <laughs> Amen. Let's go to Hebrews 1 and 3. Hebrews 11, sorry, 11, 1 and 3. Come on, yes, it's also on the screen. Hebrews 11, 1 and 3. He said, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's why I say faith is trusting the unseen. He said, it's the evidence of things not seen. 
So, but it's a substance. It's a substance. And the substance belongs to you. But you can't see it. What is your proof that it belongs to you? The Bible call it title deeds. Legal ownership on a property. Is that the proof? Come on, let me see your hand. Is that the proof? Yes, title deed. It just says that it is your property. But what give me the assurance and the proof that it is mine? Is who spoke it? Who spoke it? God cannot lie. If God said it, that settles it. If a man said it, they can change their mind. But God cannot change his mind. He's God of yesterday, today, and forever. So the title deed that I have is not coming from the courthouse. The title deed that I have is coming from Yahweh God, the creator of all things, the great I am that I am, unchangeable God, the God that was, he is, and he is to come. Immutability of God. If he said it, he's going to do it. He has the resources to do it. Are you hearing me? He is not coming from your friend. He's not coming from your pastor. He's not coming from the apostle. He's coming for Jehovah. Jaira. Come on, somebody give him praise and glory. Come on, somebody give him glory. That's what gave me the assurance. Not the paper. Not the document. But where is coming from? Are you hearing me? He said, now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Let's go to verse 3. He said, by faith, we understand that the world was framed by the word of God. The world was what? Frame the universe was framed by the word of God. So that the things, pay attention to this, so that the things which are seen were not made of the things which are visible. The things which are what? Seen. Are not made by the things that are visible. So God created from the invisible. And he spoke it in the invisible. But the manifestation. Ah oh shit. Pe, 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 hey. yeah, te, pe, pe, yeah. But the manifestation. <laughs> happened in the natural. You see. From the invisible. To the visible. Visible cannot create invisible. But invisible. Created visible. We serve a God. That created from the invisible. Now, I studied this, you should know where I'm going. I studied this years ago in Genesis chapter 1. I studied it. When God said, let there be light. And there was? Let there be what? And there was? In the natural land. But it was spoken. In the supernatural realm. So supernatural. Is it let there be light? And there was. Now. Let's go back a little bit. Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. God said. And God created. Underline the word created. That word created. Never used for man. That word created. Never lose use for woman. If you read the Hebrew word, you know what it means. It's only used for God. Man also can create. But we use stuff. We use things that are visible. We use things that you can see. You can create. I hear them saying. To bring a light, you need a negative wire and a positive wire. That's the natural. 
But the God that we serve, he don't need no positive. He don't need no negative. What he does, he is spooky in the spiritual realm and he come to light. That's what in Hebrew is called bara. That word bara is not used for man. Because I can't go God. His only God is working and things what happen. God created. Now, when you go to Genesis 1 1, to pick understand the other go to Genesis. Genesis 1. He said, In the beginning, what? Talk to me. In the beginning. Come on, talk to me. In the beginning. Who was there? Who was there? In the beginning. He was there. God in the beginning. There's no material. There's no negative wire. There's no positive wire. There's no material. There's nothing. God don't need material. All God needs to do is to speak it into existence and it will happen. Are you hearing me? That's the dispensation. God wants to take us uh, in this uncertain time. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh, oh, you need faith. Your breakthrough, you don't speak it into existence. You need to declare it into existence. You don't have to see it. You don't have to see it, but you know it. You have to know it, but you don't have to see it. Because faith is what? First thing, the un. Not the unknown. I know that I know that I know. And I know that I know that I know. What give me the guarantee? My wife didn't sell it. My friend didn't give it to me. The I am. That I am. Because God existed in the supernatural realm. It's a God that has no beginning and has no end. Everything, oh God, everything that he created has a beginning. But our God is the I am. He meant to be. Nobody created him. He was just there by himself. There's nothing before him. There's no one with him. He was there by himself. The I am that I am. Moses, oh God, Moses told God, if I go to Pharaoh, who do I say sent me? He said, go to Pharaoh and tell him the I am. I am. I sent me. We serve a mighty God. We serve a great God. Our God is I am that I am. Our God lives in eternity past. He's also in the present. And he's in the future. We serve a mighty God. Somebody say, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, can I teach? Can I teach? Oh God, I feel it. Oh, I feel it. Oh God, Bastille. You see, but by faith. By what? I did God create it. By what? Faith. By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were made not with the things which are visible. So the things that were seen were created with the things that are not seen. Are you hearing me? Now, there are three powerful effects faith has on us as believers. I think we need to know this. There are three powerful effects faith has on us. Number one, faith is the divine ability God giving to man or woman to go beyond the natural realm. Faith It's a divine ability given to man. When, I, when you see the word man, it's not a gender man, but it's the spirit of man. 
in through you to the ladies. Don't get upset with me. It's a spirit of man. He said, faith is the divine ability given to man to go beyond the natural realm. So that means God didn't only want us to only stay in the natural realm, but we can also what, have access. We can have what, access in the, what, in the supernatural realm. Not to stay there, but to go there and declare some things and bring it into life. Because faith converts invisible to visible. And that's what God did. From the invisible. He spoke it from the invisible. And it came in existence in the visible. The divine ability given to man or woman to go beyond the natural realm. Because remember what the first the Bible tells us that the things that were created were created in the supernatural realm. And the Bible tells us that faith is the substance of things up for the evidence of things not seen. When I hear the word no sin. That take me to let's go there quick. Can I take my time? First Corinthians. First Corinthians. No, second, uh, second Corinthians. Yes, it's there. Thank you. Second Corinthians 4 18. Second Corinthians 4 18. Are we there? Can we read it together? One, two, three, read. So, that tells me there are two realms. The things that are and the things that are not. So, there is another realm that we cannot see. And the Bible tells us in Hebrews that the things that were made, things that were seen, were framed and made from not the natural realm. But they were made for what? In the spiritual realm. Amen? Now, let me personalize this. Your breakthrough as long it's been spoken by God is already completed. But it's not in the natural. But it's where? In the second realm the things that are not seen. The Bible says we do not look to the things that are what? Sin. Amen. But we look to the things that are not what? Sin. So your breakthrough that God has spoken is already created. Is already ready. You cannot say it, but you know it. You can say it, but you know it. How to combat it? You convert it or transfer it on her by faith. By faith. He said, we do not look to the things that are seen. That's why I don't judge nobody. I don't speak negative to nobody. Because I know there's something for you in that supernatural realm. What you need is to increase your faith and to bring it on her. Can I hear amen to that? He said, faith. Is the divine ability given to man to go beyond the natural realm. So that means we don't transact. That means we don't transact our faith in the natural realm. We transact our faith in the supernatural realm. And when you transact it in the supernatural realm, the manifestation, we see it, the things that are seen. Are you hear what I'm saying? I prophesy over somebody 
that your spiritual breakthrough, your financial breakthrough, that is in the same, in the realm of the spirit, in supernatural realm, let it be converted into the healthy realm. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We live. Hallelujah. Our life takes place in the natural realm. For faith is found in the supernatural realm with God. I want to think about that. Is this what it is? We live in the natural realm, but our faith, that's why I use the word transact, is found in God. Your destiny, you might not walk in it by now, but your destiny is already done in heaven. It's already done in the supernatural realm. Why do I say that? God is not just creating a new thing. God will not create you if there's no purpose. God don't create first. God designs your purpose first. Then he will create you. If there's no purpose, there's no reason for creation. You are not here by accident. You are here for purpose. God has a greater things for you. He has designed great life for you. Hallelujah. It's already done. Now, can I explain someone a little bit more time? Can I explain? Can I explain? Oh, God. Oh, God. I thank you. In the supernatural realm, there's no A to Z. In the natural realm, we have A to Z. We have beginning and the end. But in supernatural realm, there is no beginning <laughs> and there's no end. Because everything is in the world. Let, 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 let me take my time. Let, let me take my time. That would lead me to number two. Let, let, me, let me take my time and go to number two. Don't put it in your mind. There's no, in the spiritual realm, there's no beginning and there's no end. In the spiritual realm, there's no time. There's no space. And there's no matter. In the spiritual realm, supernatural realm, there's no time. No space and no matter. In the supernatural. On the hand, we have beginning and we have end. But in the supernatural realm, it's not. We can access natural realm by our five senses. You know, see, touch. We can access it with our what? Five senses. But the supernatural realm. You can't access it with your five senses. You can only access it. There are three. Oh God, can I go there? There are three ways to access the internal uh, uh, supernatural realm. Number one, that's what I'm teaching right now. Faith. Because faith unlock the supernatural realm. The things that are not seen. To bring it to her. You have to go to the supernatural realm and transact it with your faith. Now, that's number one. Faith is the divine ability given to us to go beyond the natural realm. Because your breakthrough is in the supernatural realm. But you got to combat it. You got to use your faith. It will not just come down. Number two, faith. Oh, I love it. Faith. Brings the future to the now. Remember, I said there's no beginning, there's no end in the supernatural realm. Not here, there's a beginning in the supernatural realm. No beginning and no end. No future. Everything is in the now. Can we say now? Faith is when? Now what? 
Now what? People, so what? Now what? Now, faith, not hope. Hope is for the future. But faith is what? Now, the mistake we made or we are making is that a lot of believers don't know we put our faith in the future. Faith, <laughs> faith is not for the future. No. No. That doesn't mean you will see the manifestation now, but sometimes you can see it now, depending the level of your faith. I, are you hear what I'm saying? Now, faith. When is faith? What are you trusting God for? Whatever you're trusting God for, don't post it to next year. Put your faith in the now. The Bible of God and Lord, thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, just bring you these things. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Holy Spirit, remember, it's our what? Our last vocation. It's helping me. He said, we'll bring it to your remembrance. Amen. Some I didn't even have in my notes, but the Holy Spirit, check this out. I have this for you. I didn't have it in my Collaborator. Come on, can we bless God for the Holy Spirit for a few minutes? Come on, can we bless God? He's my collaborator. He will bring it to your remembrance in the name of Jesus Christ. Sometimes I forget something. You just say, what about this? You see, you, you don't know what you got. You have a reservoir. When you study the word of God, you retain the word of God. There's a reservoir that you have. When you forget, the Holy Spirit say, hey, this is not a revelation. Say remembrance. The student, I don't want you to don't, don't study and say, Holy Spirit will bring it to my remembrance. You didn't study. You didn't study. It's for those that study and show themselves approved. Amen. It's not a revelation. It's bringing it to you what you know, what you've already studied. What you don't know, you don't know. The only way you will know is by revelation. And Holy Spirit will not collaborate with you to cheat. All right. Let's come back. Faith brings the future into the now. What do I mean by that? If you are trusting God for something and God said it, I will do it. Believe it, it is done. Now, there's a scripture, thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing me back to this. He said, when you pray, believe. When you pray, believe, you receive. Different between receiving and having it. When you pray, believe, you receive. Then, you know the scripture. So faith said, God said it, it's already done in the supernatural realm. That's why the Bible says, the things that are seen, the things that are seen are not created by the things that are visible. They were created where? By invisible. And you will see the way God moves. By it. God never created things without, first of all, speaking. He said, Let us create man. He said, Let there be light. And there was. God speak it. And it happened. Faith is not only what you believe, but you got to speak it and walk it. You got to speak it and move by faith. The 
the woman with the issue of blood. She spoke it into existence. Oh, she, <laughs> she spoke it into existence. Do you know it was Malachi till she got the revelation about Jesus, about Malachi? The Bible said, when the son of righteousness shall arise, they shall be what? Healing in his wings. That's why faith comes back and by hearing. If you don't have faith, that means don't listen or study the word of God. And, and I'm sorry, I have to tell you the truth. I have to tell you the truth. Deficit, deficit in the world is deficit in faith. If you lack the word of God, you lack faith. Now, you can even have, you believe, the woman received the word, she believed it when the son of righteousness shall arise, talking about Jesus. They shall be what? That's Tassos. Six hundred and thirteen Tassos. She received that revelation. See what the woman was doing? She was, she did exactly what God called her to do. What to God to do. Then, corresponding action. Your corresponding action has to match up to what you are speaking. So folks just talk. And talk. And talk. And they still talking. What they believe. What they want God to do. And they still waiting. God is going to do it. He's going to do it. And they are waiting. But the woman was doing what? If I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be. If I can just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be. She's speaking it. She's moving towards Jesus. She's moving. She's moving. She didn't stop. Remember, she was sick. Are we ready for this? The level of your risk determines the level of your breakthrough. How much risk you are trying to take for Jesus? This woman was taking a risk. She was sick. The Bible says that her situation grow worse. But yet, if I can touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. If I can just touch the hem of his garment. I truly believe when she got to Jesus, a lot of men were there. Probably would not. Maybe she crawled to touch the hem. But God, the hem she's talking about, it was at the border of his garment. She had to push some men out of the way. Kick them out of the way. Smack them out of the way. Knock them down. Don't break. Don't stop my breakthrough. I have to touch the hem of his garment. I have to touch the hem of his garment. As she speak, she moved. She was going. She believed it. And she walked it. Faith bring the future into the now. Reposition your faith. Please. Reposition your faith. Faith is not for future. Hope is for future. Your faith is for now. God said it, you have to believe it. There's a power in speaking. When you speak something out, it goes into your spirit. Because your spirit is hearing. Your soul can hear. If your spirit and your soul can hear, your body don't have a choice. It must obey. It must obey. Because really, the spirit is supposed to control the soul and the body. So as you speak something, your spirit is listening, your soul is listening, and your body must obey. Can I hear?
say amen to that. Then I will stop. Let's go to number three. Number three, quick. Me, I love number three. Faith is based on truth, not facts. Faith is based on truth, not facts. Me. Listen to this. When facts is confronted by faith, fact have no choice. The last, the last say it will be what faith is saying. Faith is based on on truth, not facts. If the doctor says you are sick. And they prove it as a fact. That's not true. And I thank God for the doctor. Doctor Elizabeth, sorry. We thank God for you guys. The doctor are doing an excellent job. Can we bless God for them? Amen for the doctor. But they say, Doctor Jesus. That Reuben proved that fact. So, we have faith. But when fact comes, it takes us to another direction. And that's why doubt will come in, attack us. Because faith, fact is saying, ah, you are sick. Oh. And there's a proof. There's a proof that you are sick. Are you know what I'm saying? And the truth is saying, by his stripe. <laughs> By his stripe. By the stripe that Jesus suffered on Calvary. He paid the price for your sickness. He paid the price for your disease and infirmity. Truth is saying you are healed. When you have faith, what you are doing, you are agreeing what God is saying. Faith based, faith is based on truth, not fact. Why is that? Fair fact are subject to change. Facts are subject to change, especially if faith confronts facts. This, that's how you fight warfare. As long as faith confronts facts, fact will change. He has no choice. But the truth never changes. The truth is what it is what it is. Let me take it this way. Fact. Facts do not require faith. But truth require faith. You don't need faith for facts. No. Facts do not require faith. But truth require faith. Facts. Operate in the ghetto of it. This is why I just told you that faith does not operate in the natural realm. Faith operates in the supernatural realm. Yes. It operates in what? In the supernatural realm. Wow. Do you see that now? Do you know when we come to Christ? The faith that we receive first, that we have, is the faith from God. Faith was given to every believer. That's what we call the measure of what faith. We receive it, but we are not supposed to, what, to develop it. So faith does not require faith. Uh, facts 
Fat does not require paint. True, does. Fat operates from the natural. Truth operate from supernatural. Amen. Truth is a person. Truth is a person. Thank God for that one amen. Go to John 14, 6. Faith, truth is a person. Come on, talk to me, church. Come on, talk to me. Faith is a person. Faith is a person. That's why you operate from the supernatural realm. Faith is a person. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth. So who is the truth? I can hear you. Who is the truth? Who is the truth? That's why you see truth cannot change. Jesus is the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one get to the Father except through me. Jesus is the truth. He changes now. I say he changes now. The mutability of God. He's the God of yesterday, he's the God of today, and he's the God of heaven in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody praise the truth. Come on, somebody praise the truth. He is the truth. He is the truth. He is the truth. Hallelujah. Oh God. Truth is a person. And that person is Jesus. Can we shout Jesus? Can we shout Jesus? Can we shout Jesus? I almost finished. I almost finished. Jesus is the truth. The Bible says your word is truth. Who is the word? Is truth. Jesus himself say here, I am the, the word of God bringing. You hear me? Study it. Think. Immense yourself in the word of God. And grow in faith. Immense yourself. Read the word of God. If you lack the word of God, guess what? You lack faith. You want to increase your faith? Listen to the word of God. Read the word of God. Also, stretch you a little bit. Study the word of God daily. Especially the area where we lack faith. Please listen to me. Study carefully. There are some areas in the kingdom that we lack faith. Especially those areas. Study the work in that area. Maybe you don't fully believe in healing. Look for healing scriptures. Maybe you don't believe in deliverance. And you trust God for deliverance. Read that scripture. One of the scripture is the children's prayer. Remember the woman that went to Jesus? What Jesus told the lady? He said the prayer belonged to the children. What was she trusting God for? Deliverance. No healing. Deliverance. It was deliverance. Jesus said, no, 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 no. Deliverance is for who? For the children. The lady said, yeah, I understand. Why? Because she was outside of covenant. She was not in relationship with God. I want to see what belongs to the children. And the lady is a woman of faith. She said, okay, I understand. You know, sometimes the children don't know how to say what they have to say. She said, but I don't mind the crumbs that fell on the table. I don't mind. Amen? Amen. Let's do this quick. Number two. Walk by faith. Not by we know that. We know that. Let's do it again. Walk by not by number three. Renounce fear and live by faith. Even after this message, fear is going to attack, try to attack you. Fear paralyzes faith. Fear is the opposite of faith. And faith is the opposite of fear. Fear is faith killer. And you want to re replace your faith. Faith. 
Fear is an enemy of faith. Fear has entered this world even in the church. Fear. We'll talk about that one day. Fear should stop the truth from the lie and lie from the truth. It distorts. You want this to me? Twist it. Fear will hinder you from receiving God's blessing. And I'm going to stop. My time is up. Can we start, stand on our feet? Come on, let's give God glory. I'm going to stop here. My time is up. Come on, can we give God praise? Can we give God praise? We're going to do one thing. We're going to do three things. Then uh, we will take offering. Glory to God. The first thing we want to do, if we can stand on our feet, say, Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, I thank you for the finished work of the cross. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Lord Jesus, I believe in my mouth, and I confess, I believe in my heart, and I confess with my mouth that you are the Son of God, and you died for my sins. Lord Jesus, I ask you today, to give me your spirit and your power. Lord Jesus, I ask you to lead me. I will follow. Instruct me and I will obey. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and stay there permanently. Lord Jesus, I thank you. I bless you. And I, I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Say this after me. Heavenly Father, anyone pray this prayer for the first time, want to give their life to Jesus, that's number one. Can anybody please come? Pastors here, we pray for you. Anyone, anyone, anybody say, praise the Lord. Amen. Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you. I stand on the rock. And Jesus is that rock. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I thank you for the finished work of the cross. Lord Jesus, I bless your holy name. I renounce spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. I reject and renounce spirit of fear in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of fear, I revoke you for my life. Spirit of fear, I cast you out in the mighty name of Jesus. You are improper you are unlawful and I forbid you in the name of Jesus Christ. So spirit of fear, I command you in the name of Jesus to go in the name of Jesus. Spirit of fear, spirit of fear, I call you out and I command you in my authority in Christ Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I command you to go. In the name of Jesus, coming to go. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command you to go. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, increase my faith. Heavenly Father, increase my faith. I ask you to forgive me because there's some issue in my life that I didn't have faith. There's some promises that you've spoken over my life. I did not receive them because I didn't have faith. Heavenly Father, give me fresh faith. Give me your faith. God kind of faith. Faith that moves mountain. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Heavenly Father, I bless you. Heavenly Father, I will begin to walk by faith. I will begin to declare faith. I will begin to confess faith. No more negative confession. I am not sick. I am healed. That edict is not mine. And I command edict to go. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will continue to speak by faith. And move by faith. Corresponding action. Heavenly Father. I thank you. And I bless you. In Jesus name. Come on, somebody give God praise and glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give him praise.
and glory. We are renewed with our faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. I know my time is up. I see someone, spine, pain, lower back. Who's that? Be healed. In Jesus' name. Who is that lower back? I say be healed. In Jesus' name. Elijah, be healed. In Jesus' name. I also prophesy, my grain edict will not have dominion. I see that thing, it goes and it comes. It goes and it comes. After today, it will not come back in Jesus' name. If you believe, it will not come back. Come on, somebody give him praise and glory. Come on, somebody give God praise and glory. I thank you. 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 I see someone trusting God for miracle in the seventh month. Seventh month is a month of completion and perfection. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say be expectant in the seventh month. As we cross over to the seventh month, you are breaking that whole cycle. That whole cycle must be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Lord is doing a new thing. Tell your neighbor, it is high. It is me. It is me. It is me. I also declare from today, you will begin to see the shadow of things to come in the seventh month. In the name of Jesus, I declare it. I declare it. So shall be. Write it down. Seventh month, it shall be so. You will see the shadow of things to come. Who is that? Seventh month. Seventh month. Mazakasha. You begin to see now the shadow of things to come. The shadow of things to come. Somebody say it is me. Somebody say it is I. Somebody say, yeah. Hey. Hey. The seventh month. Mark it down. Mark it down. I hear the Lord say, I want to break the old cycle. You got to break the old cycle. If you don't break it, the new will come, will not come. Break it in the name of Jesus and walk in the new. Come on, walk in the new. Come on, take that prophetic life. Walk in the new. 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 I receive the new. Get rid of the hold. Get rid of the hold. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I gotta go. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I break the old cycle in the name of Jesus Christ. I break it. I break it. Move into a new season. Move into your new season. Move into a new cycle. I have a passion. My, 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 Seven months starting from today.
In the name of Jesus, declare it. Speak it with your mouth. Speak it. Speak it. Come on, faith. Transact. Transact in the supernatural. Begin to speak it. La papa I gotta go. Oh, I gotta go. Speak it with your mouth. Declare it. It's an act of faith. Ah. Act of faith. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. And walk it. Speak it. Speak it. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Speak it. With your mouth. With your mouth. Transaction. It's happening in heaven. Speak it. It's going to happen. Speak it. Speak it. Lapa, take it. I got the stuff. In Jesus' name. Yes, 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 yes. Speak it with your mouth. Begin to declare it. It shall be so. It shall be so. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Speak it. 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 It's going to happen. If you speak it and walk it, speak it and move by faith. Speak it and move by faith. All must speak it. Speak it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, saka tele bebe. Lashe te tele bebe. Man, seke tele bebe. Man, seke tele bebe. Man, seke tele Oh, no. I got to go. I got to go. Take it. Lataka pashe. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the house oh, upon her. It's upon her. It's upon her. Mazaba yeke. Father, thank you. Come on, let's lift up our hands to heaven and just begin to thank God for what he has done already in the realm of the spirit. Begin to thank you for manifestations of what you will see in the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, you thank him. You speak to him. Thank him. Thank him for giving us access to speak in the realm of the spirit. Thank you for manifestations. Thank God for what he will do in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I thank you. I thank you. And I bless you. It is a done deal. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Father, we thank you. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, church. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Come on, give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to Jesus. Give it to the truth. He is the truth. The truth is a person. I am the way and the truth. He is the truth. Let's give it to him. Let's bless his name. Amen. We're going to take our tithe and offering. I want you to give, pay your tithe. Let's give generously. We normally do it at the end. If you are truly blessed, pay your tithe, your offering. Amen. Wait to give also those on the screen, those on Facebook. Wait to give is right there. Also here, wait to give. Can give to cash a half dollar sign everlasting life. Don't go to the hill. Don't say something. Share my life. Share my life. Everlasting life. Dollar sign. Everlasting life. Just to say that. Everlasting life. CC. Can give to cash a half. Can give to our website. Everlasting life. Dot org. Receive the seed of the 
It's from God. The look is from the devil. Because the measure that you used to give is the same measure you're going to use to receive. Amen. So let us give. It's a good soil. Let's pay our time, our offering. Huh? This soil, your seed never dies. That's what I heard. Do you know there's a scripture like that in Hebrews? Is it 7 and 9? Oh, toss him. There's a scripture. It's talking about matter with time. Some gave their time for matter. It was not a time. But we give our time to immortal. There are two Christmas in I'm trying to be teachable. There are two Christmas in Friday. Some of the men of God have said Friday is not, you know, it's not biblical, it's not so. They don't have the understanding and the revelation of the word of God. There are two Christmas. The first Christmas is the Levi Christmas. The Levi Christmas started in the time of Moses. Priesthood was corrupt. Now there's another priesthood. Come on, somebody. See, that's why you have to understand tithing was before the law. Not during the law. That's why they teach it. They say, well, tithing is for the uh, dispensation of law. That's the time of Moses. But tithing, oh God, can I talk to you? Tithing actually started in the dispensation of promise. Dispensation of what? Promise. Because there are seven dispensations. I won't give you all the seven. Because that's the end. I'm fat. <laughs> I won't give you all the seven. I won't give you all the seven. You got to understand these things. The dispensation, the first person that tithe, really, the word tithe, we call it the law of the first mention. The law of the first mention, the first time we see the word tithe was when? When Abraham gave it to who? Melchizedek. Who is Melchizedek? <laughs> some people say I pray, some say pastor, some people say apostle. Who is Melchizedek? The Bible says Melchizedek has no father and mother. Have the word father or mother. They gave it to God. Abraham gave it because of the tithe of God. Amen. That means your 10% is not, is gross. I don't hear that. Because the net is not your income. Your true accountants will tell you. Your income actually is the gross. The tithe of all. You take the tenth and you give it. So that's what God was saying at the beginning of the Bible. He was saying, don't give it to who? To the mortal. That die. And they die with your tithe. He said, but there's not made this there. They gave it to immortal. Made this there. He gone. And as you give to immortal, your tithe don't stay on earth. You know what? He goes to heaven. I have a proof for you. Let us give God the glory. We have a good example. Jacob, when he was sleeping, he was what? He was called Zizu, and he changed it to what? Bethel. Bethel is what? Forty nine. Out of, he made a vow where? That I will do what? The first thing I didn't even know that God is in this place. I promise. After he just rubbed somebody up. That's another, that's another message. Message. 
I don't pray for it. Never talk to me also. <laughs> pray about it. Better. And you say, are you praying about it? Your thoughts will come to you. It's a business. It's a business. Before that, before angel, ladder. Ladder tells me when you sit into the house of God, you are connected to heaven. And you need to speak a high word. So you are speaking with no mortar, but you and then angel go up and what? Say ideological cycle. So when your time go up, the seat go down. Come on, somebody give him praise. Come on, somebody give him praise. Oh, blessed be the name of the true and living God. Can we stand to our feet, please? Oh, my God, my God, my God. Amazing God that he is. Amazing God that he is. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, uh, Shane, you were just telling me that there's a massive testimony that you've never given. Glory to God, you just told me that yesterday. And it's about, she's a tither, and she's a giver, she's a seeder. And she don't play, it's not, she, don't, she don't play with it, glory to God. Amen, somebody. And God did a miracle for her on campus. What's it, what, what, what's the testimony? It's two. I don't have that, so I just kind of, you know, left it alone. And so one night, um, it was like 1 a.m. Like I usually always check my like account and like my email account to see, you know, if anything happened. So I checked it and I see negative 619 dollars. I'm like, that means I'm getting 619 dollars from my school. <laughs> and so I went to my financial aid account and I saw that they upped one of my like grants. To a thousand something and but I talked to a financial aid person earlier in the year when I was trying to get my credit and she was like um yeah you're at the absolute max that we can give you and then I got an email from them saying yeah we upped your financial aid offer and then so I was able to take that money and do a whole bunch of other stuff oh, that I needed glory to do. To God. hallelujah somebody say look what the Lord has done Look what the Lord has done, my God. Amazing. And it keeps on increasing and increasing and increasing. Meaning, uh, 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 it, start, it brought her faith level to, a, to another realm. Amen. Glory to God. When she sees the hand of God in her giving. Amen. My God, as it goes, as it goes up, uh, the hydrological cycle continues. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, my God, for, for the offering. Thank you for the tithe. Glory to God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we just ask that you will bless it right now in the name of Jesus. But I thought we know that it's all in place, my God, because it's what you have spoken. It is what you have said. It's what you have commanded in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, once again, we bless it as this is for the furtherance of your kingdom. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lady Kay. Follow the direction of Brother John, please. God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's going to fulfill. One second, one second, I'm sorry. For anyone that's new, if you, if you, if you, um, Pay through Cash App and PayPal. Just come and tap your tap your your phone on the um on the offering basket. Amen. For anyone that's new that don't know, okay? Because you you it's it's you get you gave as well. Amen. Amen. Continue. He's able. God's able to do just what He said He will do. Gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill. Every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. He's able. He's able. Oh, 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 oh. 
Hallelujah. They will prophesy from here till next year. Glory to God. I, it's the longest, and the prophet is telling too, but it's the longest because they tag team. So they will see from A to Z on one of them. And the other one will come in and see from A and from 1 to 100. Amen. So they're tag team you. And a dynamic couple people. So please, whatever you do, please, please, please invite others to come and join us. It's going to be an amazing time in the Lord starting Friday. Amen. 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 And of course, my, 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 my honey is still going to be in the house. Amen. My, my own apostle, Apostle Sam. Amen. <laughs> Praise God, praise God. Bow your heads with me, please, Father. We just thank you. Hallelujah for the service. We thank you for all that you have poured into us. For all that we have ingested, my God. For all that you fed us, my God. For all that you poured into us, my God. Oh, hallelujah. Again, Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I know that I know that we're just not going to just hold on to these words. My God. My God, Father, we're going to help somebody. We're going to share it with somebody. We're going to impart this to somebody that they will also receive from your table. My God, in the name of Jesus. Now, if you're about to depart from this place, but never, ever, ever from your presence. Now, now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest to me and abide with us all now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Amen.